Ladies and gentlemen, what is up and welcome to another SYF TV Shoutcast. My name is Spud, joined in the hot seat tonight by none other than Nightfall. Nightfall, how are you going tonight, dude? Hi there. I, I'm wonderful, as always, for a Shoutcast with you. It is absolutely just, splendid just to hear, good sir. Tonight's matchup, it is a CGO match called 4, ladies and gents. It is the map of strike between Verdict and Cloud9. Verdict have been a, a very, very dominant force of late in the uh, Cybergamer CGO ladder. I'm sure that they're going to bring out some big guns tonight. Let's see if uh, the Cloud9 can, uh, can uh, start off well on the defence here. It is, of course, Strike. Strike is usually a little bit more, a little bit more defensively biased. What would you say, Nightfall? Just, just a little bit, just a little bit. Just, just a smidge, a smidge, here and there. In house, those who just wait for these last few players to ready up, match will uh, quickly get underway. Nightfall, I'll let you take uh, first round. Holy Jesus, I get first round. What is this madness? Alright, uh, let's just roll Let's find scope, scope, where's a scope? Fuck, you stop running with your Deagles. Jesus! Alright, miss I'm it. On, miss I'm on miss it. scopes. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, uh, just checking out this mid street. There's been a no blazer is taking down Hayes. Ninja takes down Seth, so four and four hit. Missy's gonna pick up a late nade into the A bins, taking down 60. Blazer from mid shots with the SMG onto the garage wall is going to take down a ninja though. So four on two hits, left up to the scope. Missy, no, just on the other side of the wall, gonna come around. Reactor's gonna take her down. So that is gonna bring a little bit easier. Is Reactor gonna take down both pushing as well? Rocky's getting taken out by him as well. TMD's just taking out Nikki. So it's a one on one down from a four on two. So uh, Cloud9 brought this round back a little bit, but you know, Team D's over this B site, over near that front butcher area. Rocky is getting this Explosives bomb down, planted. and uh, you know, Team D's going to make his way over there. Rocky's sort of got a bit of an easy drop down, he's just going to defend, make sure that that bomb isn't going to get defused. And uh, yeah, he's just going to prone his way around this A site, he's going to poke a little bit as the nade comes over, but it's uh, not going to land anywhere near him. So, uh, it's a little bit, a little bit slow. TMD's got 25 on the clock, he's thrown out a smoke, but it's caked and landed on the roof. So I'm looking at him there, that's a smoke waste. So you see the player, and he's not going to take the shot, and Rocky's going to take that round away, and uh, it was a little bit of touch and carry there for the Verdict guys in that round. That it most certainly was. Uh, I'm going to be rolling out here with uh, someone a little bit different. Let's, let's find the Ninja Shark here. He is an assault, assault rifle for the Cloud9 team. He's running down the main street here, lots of smoke here. That's three smokes on this main street from the Verdict team. There we go, early nades come out from both teams, picking up a kill apiece. There's Ninja Shark, he's camping in three doors, spots a player on the other side, tags him up quite heavily, and then it's going to be Blazer there, and he'd better be super careful here, Ninja Shark, because there's a person banging him from the back of Catwalk. So as he cops a little bit of damage, he looks to uh, just restructure his positioning, and I'm sure he's just communicated to his to his fellow teammates uh, uh, about the players around him. So I'm just going to quickly tick off him as Blazer there gets a beautiful little Desert Eagle from uh, the other side of three or straight onto the uh, noggin of React there. So he goes down. Nikki gets tagged up by a sniper there, taking 98% damage. As uh, so it's a huge stuff all around here. So straight off the bat, verdict down to the last remaining two players, which are going to be Missy and uh, and Nikki here. So they're both situated at the bottom level of Neck. As TMD just goes snap onto Nikki's head, she goes down, hits the hits the deck there. Bomb's been dropped Main Street, leaving it all in the hands of Missy. She's got three to take down. Ninja Shark, TMD, and uh, 60. So uh, Ninja Shark does the damage from three door mid section straight onto her with her assault. His assault rifle, beautiful stuff indeed. One all goes to scoreboard nightfall. Yes, indeed, one all. And uh, you know, Bird got a little bit shut down there in that round and got got stuck in that mech area. Never a good place to be left. As uh, it becomes quite a bit. I'm not sure if that's a lag or if it's just no, it's Missy lagging. So uh, she got a bit of lag there coming up onto that main pick, and she just no scope. Not sure she had a teammate, but uh, it was a decent tag across map. So I'm looking at her to not pick up the kill, but possibly lucky because it could have been a teammate. Either way, two players are down for Verdict here. Seth and Nikki have gone down pretty early, and uh, yeah, it's not really going well. But what? Himself stuck in this bottom mech. Blazer is actually in three door though. He's just taking down Ninja Shack over at that garage wall. So uh, he's got Hazer, he's just on the other side of Mech Hall as well. Timid, who is just sitting over at uh, City Bench, just, just lobbed out of smoke as React gets dropped by Rocky, pushing into the cap area there. So, uh, yeah, they're not doing too bad. They're getting these picks that they need to, and uh, Rocky's gonna drop off on Scott. Takes a few shots through the wall. Gets a couple of tags, but isn't able to pick up the kill, so unlucky to him there. As Missy's gonna be pushing through Cap with the bomb. She's actually gonna play on the A bomb and play front Cap. TMD is gonna take out Rocky in front A, so Missy is gonna have to take out two players on his A side, and Blazer's going to help her, but Blazer isn't really doing too much at the moment, as Missy's gonna get dropped by the A bomb player. Blazer taking a few shots at the smoke, 
over in that little uh, little hotel building. Not gonna be able to pick up the kill though. So one v three, not looking good at all. And uh, ten seconds on the clock. He's gonna get this bomb. He's got no way in hell of getting this bomb down. It's gonna roll over. Five seconds left. He easily missed this. Running around and will he pick up a kill? He does. He gets sixty. That's it. And then it's gonna take it to one uh, in a uh, very slow round. And it certainly was uh, pretty unlucky to miss you. Her ping was just going all over the place and uh, it just really stuffed up her uh, sniper aim. She couldn't really lock onto that player who was camping heavily behind that back A uh, bombsite. So anyhow, in, in this, in this uh, third round, we can see the verdict team just going with a five-man push here. Over to that B site, Seth here making his, uh, his way through the butcher. He could potentially pick up two here. Spots one, takes it down, blazes off the damage straight onto React. So uh, excellent, excellent work here from the Vedic team early on. Rocky there gets the job done on the none other than Hazard. And Seth continues to make his way in through this B site. Spots the sniper at the top side of this B house. Very, very excellent positioning to him indeed. The young man is doing a, a stunning job with his SMG. So two players remain here for Cloud9, and Vedic still have four. So they're, they're looking right as rain in this round. Plant surely is going to be coming out very, very quickly by Rocky here as the plant, uh, sorry, as the bomb site has relatively been secured from all angles. So uh, Cloud9, uh, TMD here, he's, uh, he's just talking at the base level of this B uh, building. There's not much you can do. He's got the sniper in hand. He's spotted. He's still walked over, I should say, to his Desert Eagle. There's, there's a player on top of him here, but uh, it's Nikki that's going to do all the hurt because she takes him out from uh, basically uh, poking him straight through that side door there to the base level B. Two all goes the scoreboard, and that was a very impressive round indeed from the verdict team. Yes, indeedy. That uh, B push worked out pretty well for them that round. They got that pick on the player that was a little bit aggressive on that B side, not expecting too much of a push, and then, yeah, he got a good swap. It gave them a pretty easy push into that, uh, that B side. So, it's going to be a 3 on 5 here. He's missing Rocky, take down the first two players. So, that is Ninja Shack and TNB, the scope down. Rocky's going to pick up React as well. So, he's picked up two of the shots. He's pushing front A with the bomb here. And he's going to try and get across while his teammates clear the side out. He's going to take down. Hayes as well, so he picks up three there, if I'm not mistaken, and Nikki takes down 62, uh, you know, take it 3-2, attacking side, not doing too bad, they've got the three rounds so far. Rolling out here with React for the Cloud9 team. Let us see what he brings to the table as he jumps into the bottom of this B house. He's looking to attack it very, very aggressively, this Main Street. Now he's had actually second thoughts about it. He's going to just go over and uh, make sure that no one enters this B site. That's not going to be happening at, at all because Verdict is looking to go once again into this A site. They've got three out the uh, the back side of Mech here and the bomb is in the hands of, I believe, Rocky, who's actually timed out here. So this round is pretty much buggered for Verdict unless, uh, there we have it, TMD does uh, does a hell of a job from the butchers, taking out Rocky as he's just 999 in the middle of the street there. Seth and Nikki to do it all here. I don't, I, I can't really see him doing any anything uh, spectacular here because the bomb is in a terrible, terrible position, and uh, that just allows Cloud9 to uh, get a go good grasp on this round. And it's going to go their way. Nikki here locked up at three door, nothing left to do. Her fellow teammates gone down. 52 seconds here left on the clock. Let us see who's going to come in here for the final kill. It's looking like it's going to be TMD who's pushing in through the backside of three door here from behind. Desert Eagle in hand. He spots her. Fail aims terribly there, but uh, very luckily, I think it was a two hit kill. So uh, TMD very, very luckily uh, finish off, finishes off the final call there. Three all uh, goes the scoreboard nightfall, and this game is uh, exceptionally close. I, uh, yeah. I must say the the verdict team uh, on, on the attack is doing is doing quite a nifty job. They're doing a pretty good job. I like to see a few more B pushers from them. It seemed to work a lot more in their favour from the way Cloud9 are playing. The Cloud9 guys are a little bit more aggressive on that B push. Oh, they're just sort of you know getting into that flower and sitting in those city bins and butcher. And you know, those Verdict guys, they play pretty smart, and if, if they can pick up those two, get into the site and get it down like they did a couple of rounds ago, that is just going to be a whitewash for them. It, it certainly will be. As we, uh, as we looked at the scoreboard here, whilst Verdict's fifth reconnects to the server, or probably has to reset the modem, they, uh, they had a pretty bad time out there down the main street. It was Rocky, who was a bomb carrier. We can, uh, we can see that Blazer here is uh, just doing wonders for his team. He's sitting on seven kills, four deaths, and uh, he's been super aggressive in that three door. And uh, from such, he is just launching a uh, super, super strong attack against the Cloud9 team uh, and uh, is causing them a hell of a lot of problems as they uh, try and defend down that main street. On, uh, on the flip side, though, for the Cloud9 team, TMD, the sniper for him, is doing, uh, is doing an awfully good job. He's getting into that butcher area and he's getting a few good picks. 
through to the base level of that mech. He's taking out players like uh, Nikki and Missy, and uh, they, they're going down like a sack of potatoes. But uh, anyhow, so uh, as we just take a little quick break whilst we wait for Verdict's fifth to uh, return to the server, they might need to call upon another. As, uh, yeah, but hopefully that's not the case. <laughs> not for any other any other comments you'd like to just put out there. Uh, I'm going to throw a few shout-outs because I have people like firing me from uh, watching the stream. So, the first one is to LesQQ, who is uh, apparently legit, you know, I mean, he's going to call himself legit, we'll, we'll see about that, mate. <laughs> uh, shout-out to Texie for being awesome and to Brayden for being cute, apparently. So, uh, cheers for catching the game, guys, uh, you know, love you all a long time for watching us. As Spud maybe goes AFK. Oh, I'm just having a sip of water. It's all good. It's <laughs> all good. Just, just, just left me a bit of awkward silence here. I was like, oh, oh I'm talking to myself. That's all good. I'm a... Oh, all right. It's funny you me taking a sip of water. Oh, I don't know. Anyhow. Uh, let, later on, we, uh, we're going to be shoutcasting another fantastic match. It's going to be the girls taking on Hexabyte. The map is going to be Strike again, and uh, that should be a, uh, a very, very, very exciting match indeed. Uh, Nightfall, I'm expecting huge things out of both teams, as I know that they're uh, both very keen on, on winning it here tonight. That'll be uh, in about an hour's time, 9.30, that one will be going down. Uh, be sure to tune in. Uh, it'll be Nightfall and myself casting again. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a great deal of fun. And, uh, uh, it always yeah, so, is. This time out, he is uh, slowly drawing to a close. Two minutes left on the ticker here. Yes, yes it Hopefully, is. Hopefully, Verdict can get a fifth in. Otherwise, this is going to be a very depressing way to, uh, to finish the match here. Hopefully, they've got a sub on hand. Most teams, take note of this, get a sub on hand. It does certainly yeah. help out in these situations. You know, you can just call so them they straight in. They could just in. be using this time to do serious strats and then bring their player in at the end or something. You never I need know. Five minute strats. <laughs> Tactic five minutes chat. Whilst just six rounds into the game. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell not? You know, they're, they're halfway through this half already. They might want to be trying to get like the last six rounds. You, you never know. Yeah, potentially, you potentially. You never know. Any, uh, uh, any happenings tonight, Nightfall? No, any, no I have a shout out though. I am far away. People seem to love me and uh, expiring me. So, uh, shout out to Bella. Because she spent five minutes looking for me on X Fire. Uh, yeah. Okay. You know, it's not that hard to find me. It says, it says Nightfall next to my name. You know, I'm like cool guy. Just, just <laughs> chill in there. But yeah, uh, give cool a, I'd better give a quick shout out to uh, none other than Sammy and Kismet. They're uh, yeah. They just deserve it, really. <laughs> Here we yeah. go. Rocky's returned. Rocky is back in action. This is good to see. So uh, this match surely will get underway very, very, very soon. Just reconnecting into the server here. Everyone seems to be uh, seems to be good. It's nightfall. Yeah, calling him back on in. Yeah, yeah. He has returned. Well, I'm just yeah, thinking. If he can actually get back in, he's, he's taking quite a while to actually connect to the server. His computer's actually just caught on fire. <laughs> Spontaneous combustion has been achieved. Exactly. He, he put uh, COD4 in the CD drive and it was like. <laughs> <laughs> No, anyhow, so uh, if Verdict... tried to divide by zero. I, th I think if Verdict can keep uh, attacking that B side, the uh, the Cloud9 team currently it doesn't have many people situated around it. If they can just take out those one or two defenders they have over there, Name namely the Sniper, they're they're in with a very good look in to get a few plants down and a few rounds on the board. Nightfall, I'll let you take this round away, good sir. Yes. All right. Let's see what they're gonna do. Can the Verdict guys go for another V push? We'll see. We'll see. And uh, what is it looking like? Looking like uh, nothing. V, mate. Ah. No, the guy. Ah, oh, you guys let me down. You let me down, spot. Anyway, let's see what uh, Blaze can do. He's just gonna blow up the orange car next to the hotel wall because it's on fire, and that's never a good thing to run past a burning car. As just Jack gets taken out by TK Nade from TMD, so that's definitely not something you want to happen. But Blaze is not really doing much. He's got an SMG in three door, making himself a little bit useless uh, for those B looks. Where he's trying to get those picks, but it doesn't really matter. He's tagged up the play front A, and he has gone down. So so that's a TMD and React. They're both over this piece. Reacts AFK. Uh, what? The, what? He's AFK. And well, the verdict's gonna get the plant down, but I don't think they know he's AFK. And nobody's actually calling these AFK. Spud, what is this? This is how on? we do. Can we just go AFK mid war, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck not? 
don't think I've ever seen anything like this, to be honest, but I'm sure no. it happens from time to time. Anyhow, so... Uh, just, just a casual AFK. Yeah, Nick, just running, running around defense. Actually, no, they're not running around at all. They're on the uh, very, very good defense here. Yeah, no, got to be actually for that. called the, the AFK. Great, great discipline shown from him here, yeah. and I uh, guess that they're hoping they're going to come back 1v4 and get this defuse in 15 seconds. This guy's just chilling at spawn. He could be Superman. Rocky calls the AFK. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this is actually legitimately happened. Cloud9 didn't even want it. I'm, I'm sure they're quite embarrassed by that. Caught that one on Shoutcast, guys. Good stuff. Good stuff that's, indeed. That's, so, that's a little bit unlucky. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Fernick wins that one quite easily. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully he reacts back for this round. No, he's not. He's still AFK. And that is causing all AFK kind of problems here. For the Cloud9 team, because they now actually have two oh, oh. AFKs. Oh no, there we go, they've returned. Oh. I'm sure they're, they're messaging each other furiously, because that is quite a joke. To be honest, they're going to be rolling out here with Missy, but uh, whilst they say that, TMD just goes snap via the Butcher once again, straight on to Blazer, who is pushing in through that main street. Look at this, TMD is in a marvellous position here to take out uh, a large quantity of Verdict players. As Missy tries to get the, uh, the counter snipe going on, it's not going to work for a sports player here in the cafe, or sh I should say, here's one. But uh, that SMG has gone on and retreated. Missy spots that sniper. Cloud9 TMD goes down as Rocky just goes bang, snaps up two. Whilst I uh, whilst I say it, so it's once again down to a uh, a two v four here. But uh, there we have it. A verdict wipes out that last remaining play, which is going to be Reactor has and has Reactor's got, got, got this at the AFK. You you said it nightfall. Here we go. Let's spectate this from third person. Incoming one v four. Incoming oh, player no. Rocky on the horizon. Bang! Oh, he he goes it. down. Five seconds goes to the scoreboard. I don't know why Cloud9 hasn't called a time out here. Or maybe they really just don't give us stuff. I'm, I'm not it's actually just... sure. Maybe they didn't realize that they can call a timeout. I assume they would. Everyone knows you can call a timeout, don't they? Hell, a fucking verdict just called a timeout. Oh, I'm not even. Uh, no, nah, just, just don't even know about this game, eh? <sighs> Slightly questionable at times. Anyhow. 4v5, even up to a 4 4 As I say that, Nicky's gonna take down the play. Just took down Blazer, so... Yeah, this this game has turned into another one of our usual games that just goes crazy. Some, something odd always happens in our games, and what the Pretty fuck. Much. Pretty Nikki much. Nicky nearly survived somehow due to Hazel's lack of aim there. But uh, TMD is gonna take out Missy as she walks around the corner. So, it's not like it's something right here. They got a 2 on... Well, two on three, because we can't count React as an actual player at this present time. So, two on three, it's possible. Rocky's just checking this flank as Nikki did die to Haze over there. Rocky's gonna push onto the statue, see so if he can get this A-bomb player. Tagged him up in the head, but he's gonna get taken down by TMD. Haze coming out of the flank, it's gonna take him out, and they won that with an AFK. Yeah, yeah. It's impressive. Very impressive. Good on you. Good on you, Clyde Nile. That, that was a very nice round. TMD, I have to give him huge props. He's sitting on 12 kills. He is doing a hell of a job. I'm going to just quickly tick over to him now, see what he's up to. This round he's decided uh, against going the old bitch. He did that about the last three rounds in a row. He's gone up to the, the top side of the B house. Hasn't managed to spot any players on the cross, and that's obvious because it uh, looks like Verdict is going with a 5 man B push once again, and it could work very well for them as Blazer takes down Hazard, which is basically the only fortification of defense that uh, Cloud9 has over on that B side as TMD goes for the team kill straight on to react very very oh, strategic indeed team picks team up kill. his AK and that could certainly work in his favor it's a lot better than uh, just giving it to a player who's uh, has been FK for the last three rounds in a row as TMD goes snap onto Rocky over at the top side of Florist excellent work indeed it's down to a 2v3 here and look at this Cloud9 has just rotated fa as fast as lightning Blazer here trying to make his way into the B side but he's probably going to get taken down by the likes of the sniper as, uh, as Missy just Goes snap straight on to the body there of Ninja Shack. Takes him on out of the action. 2v2 here rolling out. Is Verdict going to go the old uh, rotate back to A here? No, they're not. I don't think they realize that the both of the Cloud9 uh, opponents have positioned themselves straight over on that, that B side spawn uh, road. And uh, that could uh, that could be their uh, their Achilles heel here as 60 just pokes the main street, but Missy too quick snipes straight onto his head. Beautiful little headshot indeed. 23 seconds left on the clock. That plant is certainly going to come out on that A side. Nice work there by Missy as she just crosses there. TMD tries to get the sniper pick. It's not going to work for him, so he's going to have a hell of a time here in front of him. Two to take on here. So Blazer with the SMG at the front side of A is going to be talking it up hard, and Missy's just got the plant down. So as he slowly makes his way here in through the double dumpsters, there's a very 
very, very high probability that Missy or uh, or Blazer are going to take him out as he just tries to make his way into this B site. The nerd nade comes out, but that's certainly going to be far too late. Team D here practically knows that he's screwed because all angles are relatively covered. Blazer just poking his head over this garage wall does everything that's uh, necessary for him to uh, win that round. 6-4 goes the scoreboard nightfall. Excellent work there by Verdict. Yeah, they played that very smart. Cloud9 got a little bit uh, a little bit too eager to get those frags and poked too much, got themselves killed and gave that easy rotate to A. But uh, I haven't shown the Cloud9 guy as much love, at least I haven't, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out what 60 can do here. He's gonna be the, be the soft A play for these guys at the moment. Is there anyone actually pushing in? And uh, he's not gonna really do much. He caught a bit of a nade tag, but didn't go down. He kills Blazer though, who just took down Ninja Shack, so not quite able to save his teammate, but gets a return track. Gets tagged up from front A car, and he is just going to sit here behind the bomb. He gets shot out from Missy as well. He's just copying all sorts of fire, and he has no help from anybody at the moment, really. So, uh, not really, not really loving life at the moment. But Missy's got to take out Team D over this A bin. Takes a shot over the bin, but uh, not over. Got the kill. Sixty does eventually go down just then to the Seth man, and it's all going to be left up to Haze and React. React still rocking that AFK, and Haze is on the B flank coming around through the attacking spawn. And uh, yeah, Rocky's gonna get this pilot down. It's gonna be a pretty easy plan for him. Hayes Explosion gets shot out by this, just keeping an eye on that flank. Takes down Hayes with a nice little flick. And React, once again, he's got this 1v4. Bitches ain't even no <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't understand why Cloud9 doesn't want to call a timeout here. Is are they anticipating his return anytime soon? Because I think it's a strategic thing. They might be using his AFK, and then in the last couple of well, this is the last round that they're, they're just going to like B four three. All the verdict guys are going to run at him, and he's going to get a team down plus twenty five. It will just fly down from the heavens and take out everyone on that. But <laughs> if yeah. it happens, I will be I will be stunned, and I will I will adore every single moment of it. As I'm rolling out here once again with sixty, doing a lot of good defensive work here from the inside of A, camping it up hard at the double dumpsters this round. So he's, he's repositioning himself, but uh, unfortunately for his team, two of the Cloud9 players have dropped on early this round, and uh, that's just allowed Verdict here to uh, nose you on in to that B side. They have three players situated around that forest area. I'm sure they're going to be uh, opting for it here as I just tick on over to him. No, it's looking like they're, they're heading the A here. So uh, the bomb's coming in that front side of A. As Seth makes his way in through that front side with the A and B. Doesn't spot this player camping left side of, uh, sta of uh, sorry, Cafe. My goodness, Hazel, that must have been some tremendous fail aim as he put about 20 bullets into thin air there. Couldn't pick out hey, uh, Seth, so somehow he survives. And uh, that's a 4v1 here, ladies and gents. TMD to do it or where's he at? He's uh, camping over here at the side Explosive of the double palms. Not much, not much he can do at all here. 42 seconds remaining on the clock. Bomb has been planted, poking in just ever so carefully. And if he's going to have any chance of winning it, he needs to keep this up. There's a player camping at front side of A. He can do it. TMD, no he can't. Thought he would have had the sniper out. Would have been a very, very good angle for him to pick off Blazer there. But uh, so there we have it. Scoreboard at the half is 8 4 9 4. And uh, yeah. in reality, it looks React like just ready up. What the it fuck? looks like React just ready up. <laughs> um, jaws have hit the uh, have hit the ground in, uh, before, but not quite like this. Wow. So he just went AFK for six rounds, and majestically, like a gazelle, oh, yes. if you as, will, as the half rolls returns round. as the half. Right, just whatever. We'll just roll with the punches, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> That's you, Nightfall. <laughs> Maybe he just wanted to have a big comeback from two ten or something. Wow. <laughs> we shall never know. <laughs> Well, I, don't, I don't know what is going on in the minds of these these players, but uh, you know, let's we'll see what they can do. React, he is actually back, he has got an SMG, and he's in cafeteria, so he's going to come around, he's got two players, actually one on either side of cafeteria, he's going to get taken down by Seth though, so this is going to be a 5 on 4, the attacking team already down a player, and they're getting a little bit held up at the bottom mech here, they've actually got TMD over at the flower side with the scope, trying to get a few picks I guess over on towards like that garage, double palm area. But nobody's really obliging and poking him, so he's, he's actually being a little bit useless to his team at the moment. If he gets over that A side, helps his team push in. It, it might work out a little bit better for his team, but you know, Missy's still checking out that spawn and gets a nice little lag spike there. So, you know, both teams, bit of a stalemate here. It looks like they might be going for a B rotate. Just check out what Hayes is doing here. As Ninja does take down Blazer, but Seth takes down 60, pushing that cap. Hayes does see the player, which is Seth, as Nikki takes down Ninja, so it's left up to Hayes and TMD. TMD gets tagged up. 
Hayes tags out Seth and, uh, you know, there's just bullets flying everywhere, but nobody's actually managing to get kills at the moment. Hayes, though, with the bomb, he's going to come around, Rocky's going to take him down. So it's all about the TMD, he's over in this butcher site, the bomb has been dropped in the calf, or on statue, I should say, sorry. And TMD gets a big tag with that scope on the player at the bins, but, uh, not going to take him down, Rocky, he's just going to chill, move his way a little bit into a bit more cover, and TMD, 10 seconds left, he's going to come around, he's going to see Missy, but he's not going to be able to do anything. He's going to come around and just get the, try and get the tag. Do, do whatever he can. Everybody's just shooting. Everybody's dying. Rocky, fix up the frag. There you go. Fornhine and, uh, yeah. TMD not really doing much to help his team in that round at all. I'd have to consider him a little bit lucky, I'm sure. In his, his mind, he's going to pick up a few more frags over that side. And he was quite correct in thinking, so the Verdict team actually had a lot of players positioned around that, uh, that market side double palm area. However, unluckily for him, he just couldn't spot them at the right times. As Blazer in this round picks up the first nade kill straight on that main street, takes out Hazer, but Reacts got himself in a marvellous little position here. Front side A gets the double kill onto, uh, onto both Blazer and Seth there. As 60 comes out of the cafe and strikes down onto Nikki, she goes out of the action. It's a, it's a 4v2 here, this round is looking superb for Cloud9. I'd just like to point out that that bomb has been dropped on the top side of that hotel wall, so someone there is going to have to run back and grab it. Gonna 60, he's got it. Over to him, it's 60, good on your son, he's picked up that bomb, coming in through that cafe side now. Better be pretty careful here, because Missy's doing a good job with the sniper, she takes out TMD over at that city dumpster side, but there we have it, <laughs> Riyadh picks up the third kill, Vert nades straight over that building in front of us here, and gets the, uh, the beautiful little car, the uh, kill there onto... Uh, Onto, onto the sniper. So five nine goes to the scoreboard nightfall. And uh, if if Cloud Nine can continue this uh, this awesome awesome little action uh, into into A, they uh, they stand a very good chance of winning this game. Yes, indeed. And I'm checking out what Team is doing here. He's actually picked up the SMG for this round, so he's pushed his way into front. He's actually in it, and there is no verdict plays in there. They are both sitting at the double bins, and uh, you know not really actually pushing in stuff. So Cloud9 wanted to, they could probably get this bomb across and onto the site quite easily. TMD's easily got that cross covered, but you know, they're just taking a little bit so Reacts got the scope. And he's going to take out Blazer, but Missy's going to take him down as well. So Missy not quite able to save her teammate there. Spots the player over the B side, cops a few tags, and Hayes will pick, get taken down by Nikki who pushed into that flower. But yeah, they have, the Vertigos have three players at Double Bin's palm. Ah, oh, okay. I'm, I'm confused by this, but, you know, what we'll have to work for. Team is going to pick up one of them and get away with his life. Yeah, it didn't quite work out for them, but Rocky is going to take him down as Team gets a little bit cocky, comes back around. Which is going to take down 60, trying to get that bomb down. Let's go take it 5 10 spot. Uh, the problem with that round there from Cloud9, Team D got in a, uh, a truly splendid position. But uh, he just wasn't aggressive enough at all. He just camped far too long at that front side statue. He needed to just do a little few quick pokes onto that double dumpster. Certainly would have picked up the, uh, the few players that were camping in there for verdict. But uh, because of that, it just allowed his team uh, to have a very, very rough time trying to get that bomb across onto that A side. They couldn't get it done, and they lost around 5-10 is the scoreboard here in favour of Team Verdict. So uh, here we go. It's once again another A push from Cloud9. 60 with the bomb in hand. He hasn't dropped it this time on uh, top of Hotel, which is very good to see. Indeed, there's a few flashes here come out onto that cafe. Very interesting stuff from the Verdict team. Certainly knowing that Cloud9 is, uh, is expecting to push in through, they're going to have a uh, supremely tough time getting it on in there. Is that Missy goes down over on, I believe, what is the B site there. So uh, that's going to work in, uh, in in good favor of the Cloud9 team here. Is they're just sending three people in front side of A here. Seth, mate, if you just turn around right now, you would have just spotted a few of them coming on in. And uh, it looks like they've actually doubled back here. So uh, this Cloud9 team is super, super tentative right now, and it's certainly costing him uh, very, very dearly as they drop a, uh, another player. Seth finally picks up the kill on that, on that player front side A, which is, of course, Ninja Shack there, down to a 3v4 here in favour of a verdict. So once again, another player just slowly nudging their way forth into this front side A. Seth, he's just going to tog it up here at the garden beds front A, spots it. It's going to be 60. He goes down. I presume Bomb has been dropped front side A. This is not good at all here for Cloud9. They seriously need to get their... Their, uh, their move on if they're going to attack a site like that. It's just uh, they've taken far, far too long. Last remaining players here for Cloud9 are going to be Hazer and React. Both of them here over at the B site. Nowhere near the bomb. Six seconds left on the clock. This round is done and dusted. Nightfall 5-11 goes to the score. What is Nikki picks up the final kill there? Destroy. 
That uh, that's some some uh, some quite quite poor play there by Cloud9. They they were in a very good position to uh, just just approach and uh, take over that A site, but uh, they just they, they were just far too tentative and hesitant I think Cloud9 in their position. Has hot potato with the scope because <laughs> no hate has scope. A red axe got the shotgun. Ah, uh, no, sure. make sure you get on this yes. action. Shotgun. Where's the shotgun? Let me, let me find here. Go react. Show us your shotgun action. But I don't know, he's using a deagle. This is this is quite depressing. Quite quite depressing. Get your shotgun on. No, and he's done. Oh let's <laughs> take down Seth. No, 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 no. Rocky, you know, he gets react though. So not too bad. Let's put, let's put them in a three on two here. It's all left up to Hayes and sixty. Hayes is gonna come around, Nikki's gonna just poke around that corner and be like, hello. And yeah, it's left it up to sixty. Who's just sitting fun out? And yeah, he tags up Nikki. Nikki goes down. It's gonna be a one on two. Missy and Rocky both sitting at double palm here. A 68 and eight. He could. Ah, oh, oh, he hasn't got an A. Look, like he was going for a lineup, but no, he hasn't got an A from the look of it. And yeah, the the both Hurt players just chilling, making sure that one is covered from both angles. And looks like yeah, 60 is gonna be pushing them. So he's gonna come around from this guy. Draw, get spotted by Missy. And it comes around, Rocky's going to pick him up though, and that is going to take it 5 12. So, potential match point here, Spider. Certainly, so if I just have a quick final look at this scoreboard here, we can see that both TMD and Blazer are both players of the match here. They're sitting on 16 and 15 kills apiece, uh, well and truly head and shoulders above the, the rest of their team. They've done a marvellous job here. As early on in the round, this B push here from Cloud9 has all gone wrong. They've lost two players, both to a, a massive sniper shot there from Missy. And this is just getting a little bit stupid, ladies and gents, as Cloud9 have decided that this is already over. Two of them here just uh, togging it up at the backside of Florist, and uh, that is that is not good at all. They seem to have lost hope here. They pretty much know that this one is uh, is as good as gone here. Ninja Shack takes out Rocky. 2v4 here. Nikki straight on to 60. Bang, there we have it. This is going to be over in a matter of seconds as React pushes in this side B. On the other side of that, Blazer takes out Ninja Shark. Uh, sorry, Shaq, and there we have it. Five thirteen. Is it the final uh, verdict? Winning that match convincingly and uh, just nightfall. That was a uh, was a very very tipsy turvy CGO match. We had uh, some very very bizarre situations roll out in the form of yeah. React and his AFKness. I've never well, never really seen AFK, anything like that. There was nearly a double AFK at one stage. I think it was TMD nearly on AFK as well. So <laughs> no, in all my time of shark casting, which has not been very long. There, I've not seen that. Not even actually playing a game in four years do, do I actually remember seeing a, yeah. a AFK. I might be with you, dude. Even for that long, maybe a round, if that. And, but... and why you wouldn't call a timeout? It's just beyond me. But anyhow, I better wrap this one up. We'll be we'll be live again in about twenty minutes with uh, the Girls Gone Wild taking on Hexabyte. The map of, is going to be Strike again. This was another S Wave TV shoutcast. This was, of course, Verdict taking on Cloud Nine Gaming. Verdict winning it comfortably. Thirteen five was the final scoreboard. Huge, huge stuff by both of the snipers. Blazer as well doing a magnificent job for his team. Excellent stuff indeed. Nightfall. Thank you for joining me tonight. And uh, in in a few more minutes, we'll be uh, we'll be back on live. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, take care. S Wave TV out.